touch of the old dog about Amy Baker's award-winning portrait of Winston Peters. Fiber artist Amy Baker known for her cat fur portraits of Donald Trump and Gareth Morgan has needled another politician, Deputy Prime Minister Winston Peters. This time the artist from Kingston, on the border of Otago and Southland, used dog hair from an elderly cocker spaniel called Basil. Because, she said, Peters has a touch of the old dog about him. The embroidered portrait titled Had Enough was awarded the $2,000 runner-up prize and the Craig's Aspiring Arts Prize in Wanaka. Last year Baker stitched the visage of Cat Hater and the Opportunities Party founder Gareth Morgan onto felted cat hair for a stitching New Zealand exhibition in Dunedin. She also created a car for a portrait of U.S. President Donald Trump for the Association of New Zealand Embroiderers Guild's Color Challenge, Outrageous Orange. Peters ran his most recent election campaign based on the slogan, Had Enough? Have we had enough? Has he had enough? Of what have we had enough? Polarizing, and with a reputation for straight talking, Winston Peters is a topical and intriguing subject for a portrait, Baker explained in her portrait notes. Baker said the fibers including Thai silk, flax and wool and were chosen to highlight the irony of Peters' strong anti-immigration policy in a country that had been populated and built by immigrants. The flax and wool reflected Peter's Maori and Scottish roots. The dog hair donor, Brazil, is aged about 10 and lives in Hawke's Bay with Baker's aunt. Baker is a full-time mother of two children, aged 6 and 4, and is working towards establishing herself as a full-time artist. She began stitching aged 6 and about 5 years ago joined the Queen's Down Embroidery Guild. None of the politicians she has stitched has responded to her personally and she has not contacted them for their reaction either. But I would be very surprised if Gareth Morgan hadn't heard, after all the coverage of that, she told Stuff This Week. Baker said she did not regard herself as a particularly political person and was thrilled people had understood her quirky sense of humor and were responding in a light-hearted manner. The response has been really positive and it has been great to see recognition of embroidery as an art form. I often think people think it is something little old ladies do. Using fibers created a new layer of meaning in art, she said. Somehow, using fibers that are irrelevant to the personality of the subject seems to fit. I think that's something that doesn't happen with a painted picture. Embroidery opens up a whole other level of creativity and meaning. For example, I think doing Donald Trump in embroidery was very apt, given that he is such a misogynist, using a typical women's craft. I got a lot of comments about voodoo, Baker said. The $10,000 Craig's Aspiring Art Prize was won by Auckland artist Liam Gerard for his charcoal work, Gallows Him. Gerard is not averse to turning out a contentious portrait of his own. In 2010 his portrait of convicted murderer Clayton Weatherston attracted negative comment and was disqualified from the $15,000 Adam Portrait Award because he did not have his subject's consent to exhibit. Gerard's notes to Gallows Him explained he wanted to present a work that was both instantly familiar and utterly unknown and warned steeper and deeper looks. At the drawing's heart is a desire to filter some sort of darkness through an idyllic Kiwi existence, creating its own contemporary gothic fable, Gerard said. Brian Stewart, of the United, won the $2,000 award for Best Landscape Artist for his oil painting, Wilson's Lab Revisited, which is based on a photograph taken inside Evan's hut at Scott's Cape. Becky Cameron, of the United, won the $1,000 prize for the best work under $1,000 for her art on a topographical map, Journeys On and Off the Map. The People's Choice Prize of $1,000 went to John Toomer, of the United, for Locate Icon, an oil painting of the old Locate flour mill. Competition coordinator Everly McCarthy received 123 entries and was thrilled with the $55,000 worth of sales, as at January 15th. While Gerard's artwork sold at the exhibition, no one has purchased Baker's portrait of Peters yet, she said. However, the gala opening night was an absolute sellout, with the event organizers hoping to make a significant donation to Holy Family School. The Craig's Aspiring Art Prize is in its 11th year, is the school's biggest fundraiser and has raised more than $170,000 for the school so far. The judges were Amir Alfini, director of Auckland's Art Ake, and Jim Geddes, district curator at the Eastern Southland Gallery in Gore.